Welcome back to Elevation. Now, this week, I want to talk about judgment. Judging ourselves, judging others. And it was brought about by the fact that I had two experiences over the past few weeks that really got me thinking about this topic. My wife and I were in the airport going back from L.A. to New York, and I have Crohn's. And sometimes with my Crohn's, I need to get on the plane a little earlier just to settle in and relax. So I always speak to the flight attendants, or whoever's at the desk at the gate, to talk about pre-boarding. Now, there are a lot of people on the line for pre-boarding, and as you might think, I don't look like the normal person who needs extra help. I'm not elderly, I don't have surgery, I don't have a broken foot. Nothing looks outwardly wrong. But on the inside, sometimes there are things that need to go that are going wrong, and I need some extra help. And there was a man who was screaming at one of the flight attendants, staring at myself and my wife, saying, I'm on mint, I should get on first, I should go first, look at them, look at them. Some people are sneaking on the line. And he was crazy upset, the fact that he was mint and he wanted to get on first, and someone who didn't look like they needed help was on the line before him. And secondly, I was getting fingerprinted for a job opportunity that I might, that, that's coming up, thank God. And the lady who was fingerprinting me had no patience with me. She was pushing my fingers and yelling at me and got very upset the fact that I was putting pressure on the pad while she was pushing my fingers down. And it got me thinking about the fact that we all judge people. We all do. When we look at someone and we see something that's off or something that bothers us, we assume the worst, and it's really bad habit that we all do, myself included. Now, I'm sure the lady at the fingerprinting thing was having a bad day, or she's bored of fingerprinting people all day, every day. And the guy with the mint, I don't know, but I can't know what's going on in his life. Who am I to know that? And he doesn't know what's going on in my life. I could be extremely sick, and he has no idea, and I needed some help. Or my wife needed help. He has no idea. And I think it's best for us to take a breath and think about the who, what, and why about someone's life, what's going on, because you never know what's going on behind someone's closed doors. You don't know what's going on in someone's life to cause them to be the way they are. Now, in our society, we judge based on the packaging and the labels of everyday life. Whether you go into a store, if the packaging is bright and the coloring is nice, or a book has a really loud color and crazy, you know, uh, things on the cover, you automatically pick it up. It's the way we do in our lives. The way we dress, the way we talk, the way we present ourselves is just like the packaging on soda bottles and shampoo and food we eat. It's important to put on the best outer shell for people to judge us, but it's not the only thing that's important. We need to start looking deeper than what's on the surface because there could be a really good packaging to something and it's not what we really want. It's not what's truly there. It's about what's inside the book, what's inside the packaging, what's inside the person that makes them who they are. Now to the really important part, judging ourselves. I'm my biggest critic and I read two books that really talk about something that really spoke to me. One is Brene Brown's book, Daring Greatly. She talks about the gremlin effect. And Amy Poehler's book, Yes Please. Both these books talk about, in different ways, Amy talks about the demon, and Brene talks about the gremlin effect. And this is about the inner thought process of beating us down daily, day in, day out. You don't look good. You're ugly. You're fat. Look at this part. Your hair. Your speech. You're not successful enough. All these things that build up that we keep telling ourselves are inner our inner gremlin, our inner demon that attacks us on the inside. And I want to tell you, ease up. Relax. Be happy with who you are today because there's so much that you have to offer the world. And yes, it's really hard to come sometimes have a positive outlook on the world. It is, and on who you are every day looking in the mirror because you see the true you. But if you ease up a little more, there is always room to grow and achieve more, and do more. But where we are today, we need to be okay with that to survive this world and eventually thrive in this world. 
I hope you have an amazing weekend filled with relaxation, rejuvenation for the week to come. Don't forget to keep smiling and make each day count. Follow me on Instagram at Elevation Nation. Email me at elevationnation100 at gmail.com with your comments, thoughts, or if you just want to talk. I love to hear from you. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you next week. Have an amazing day.